I've had several people ask me about um, coping or saddling, uh, fish mouth, whatever you want to call it, uh, this pipe for fitting up these top rails and stuff on these corrals. And uh, this is going to be for an overhead brace right here. Uh, there's going to be a gate here. So what I do is I measure from the bottom, inside to inside. This one is 119 and three quarters. And first thing you do is you get one cut right and then you make yourself a template, which not this one, it's another one. Hang on. All right, it's this template. So uh, what I do, I just take a pipe wrap and uh, I just cut the end of it off and make a template out of it and that's just to get me good and close I'll take and mark it out I'm not a professional. I don't do this for a living. I do this a few times a year, and uh, it's just the way I do it. It's got a little rust in, in there where it's been sitting and water standing in that bottom side. We got me a, a test piece of pipe. It's, uh, this is two and seven eighths to three and a half. Fit it up there, that's pretty close. Get it to fit. You gotta trim this fat off the sides here. You might want to run a little colder flame for this. That was a lizard. Let me pause this video for a second. Go see what this was. Where? There it is, right there. That'd be a lizard. I don't know if y'all got a view of that or not, but all right. So apparently, it got a little warm in there for that lizard. So, like I said, I'm gonna run a little colder fire on this.
beautiful camera lady can get a shot of that right there. I don't know if she wants to zoom in or walk over here, but I have a feeling that's going to be a little closer. So we got a little gap there, so I need to take a little off of these two areas right here. And with that, I'm going to do a grinder with one of these cone wheels. A Hilti grinder, the best grinder you can ever get. And you will pay for it, but it will earn its money. So let me start the welder. Uh, now we'll check out how it looks. And that fit right there is good enough for me. My beautiful camera lady will take a shot of that. But that right there is going to work for what I'm doing here. So what I'll do is to mark my other side. I guess my level was up there. It was 119 and three quarters. And since I measured from inside a post to inside a post, I'll put my tape measure right in there. quarters I'll take this out here what I do I have to get my saddles both on the same deal there so I take a level I put it right there level that out just like that. If you want to get real precise, you can level the pipe in the vise and then put a level on here and level it this way. That way you've got a 90 degree bevel. Sometimes you might have to take it, you might have a little more taken out on the top or the bottom. If you want to get it pretty close, you can do it that way. Uh, then I just take just have to eyeball this to make sure you get it in the right orientation. And then when I'm done, I'll put my pipe up here, put the level on it, and make sure that it's straight with the other end. I'll bring y'all back whenever after I get this one cut, just like I did the other side. Okay, so here's how we ended up on our fit up. 